Good morning. Morning. Whoa. All right. So I've been seeing a lot of images from grocery stores, some crazy egg prices, shortages at Costco and other places. I'm starting to see jokes about how much chicken eggs are worth. So let's talk about that. Eggs we're seeing from our chickens here in the middle of winter. A lot of questions I've been getting from people about why their chickens aren't laying. People that are thinking about getting chickens because of the egg prices. And then what's going on? What's going on with the egg market? Why are prices so high? Why is there such a shortage of egg laying chickens? We've got a lot to unpack there. Let's get going. area and they're starting to lay eggs. We got two really pretty dark eggs. Ooh, nice. These guys are, gosh, six, seven months old. We got them last summer from Heartland Hatchery. And we just put a nest box in here because we just started getting a few eggs. So these guys, while most of our other chickens aren't laying over the winter, these guys are just getting into the age of laying. So they're laying even though it's pretty cold outside. So pretty, who do you think those belong to? Let's pray them, Moran. We got one well summer there. Who else would that Usually be? well summer is speckled though. I know, super pretty. Hey Bert and Ernie. These guys are getting a little more friendly every day and I'm loving it. They're chasing Cashew around, so they're getting a little more interested in her, which is awesome to see. I don't know if we'll get eggs this year, but good chance something good could happen. Here's Cashew, she's just hanging out in here since it's so cold outside today. All right, so we need to talk about what's going on. Why are there are no eggs in the stores? Why is the price going so high? Why are we short on eggs? Let's break that down and tell you about why there's such a panic. So this past year, do that. so I made a video this spring about the avian flu and why it was gonna take out so many birds. Basically, the USDA issued a decree to all of the farms and they were gonna regularly test them for avian flu. And if it showed up at all, they were gonna kill all of their flock. It's happened to a number of hatcheries like McMurray Hatchery, one of our friends, and it's happened to so many egg laying operation and now it's catching up to us where all of those birds supposedly around 60 million birds have been wiped out and now all of those flocks they're having to take in chicks raise them up and they do not lay eggs immediately but they do lay them fairly quickly within like four to six months we're on the tail end of that 60 million birds being wiped out and that's why there's such ow hey and so the first thing i wanted to do was Let's go over to the local stores. Let's go over to Costco or some of our local grocery stores, see what the prices are, see if they're out of eggs. Oh man, it is so awkward to film in public. So $6.99 for 18 eggs, not horrible, but it's not really great either. But limit two per customer. I'm glad I don't have to buy those in the store, but it doesn't look like they have any type of shortage here anyways. So I don't know, that must be some other area where they're just not getting as many eggs in because it looks like they have plenty here. All right, okay. should we go get some bacon? Yep. Hey, Bamboo. Hey, Bamboo. And then the next question that I get from a lot of people are why aren't my chickens laying eggs? There's a number of reasons, but it has everything to do with winter, cold weather, and sunlight. Right, Bamboo? So some people are <laughs> sending me messages saying, hey, my chickens laid last, last winter, or I have a younger flock and they're laying right now, but my, my flock that's a year older, they're not laying, what's going on? When a chicken is hatched out, it takes them about four to six months to get to laying age, where they'll actually start laying eggs. Look at this beautiful blue egg. All right, so who do we think laid that? It could be our Easter egg or our cream leg bar. So we often don't see eggs from our, our black copper morans, the really dark. So anything that has a lot of pigmentation in it, the black copper morans, the Easter eggers, the cream leg bars that lay a green or blue egg. We don't see many of those over winter. It seems like they just lay mostly in the warmer months. Right now, these guys are young layers, and so there's not as much of an issue over the winter with it. But the big issue with winter is lack of sunlight. And so chickens need somewhere in the area of about 14 hours to lay an egg. So right now we're getting like 10 to 11 hours of sunlight and it's just not enough. So what some people will do, they'll try to put out heat lamps or lights, and they're trying to lengthen the day that the, the chicken has sunlight to keep those eggs being produced. Now you can do that, but just know that if you do it, you're going to shorten the life, or at least the laying life of your chicken. All right, so it's the last hour of the day, so we're gonna go around and see if there's any eggs to be collected today. It's gonna be freezing tonight. We always like to collect them at the end of the day, but we're out at the Indio Agantes and seeing the eggs. Not any eggs in. We hatched these guys out about a year ago, and they've been laying 
maybe one a day when it was getting like late fall. We don't get too much right now and it's pretty cold out, so that's not a big deal. We'll start to get more from them in the next month or two. Don't need water to turn to ice. So yes, you can increase their laying by adding light, but you're gonna shorten their lives or at least their egg laying lives. So we don't do that. We don't provide light, we don't provide heat because we want our chickens to have a happy, healthy life, to take a natural break in the winter. We love that they get that. And so what we'll do is we'll introduce new chicks every year. Right now I think we've got about five new birds that, that we added to the main flock. We've got another uh, five birds that we added to the bantam flock. So we always try to offset the the older birds with some newer birds every year. We got one egg. Ooh, that's worth like a dollar now. All right. That's even a small egg. Now the other thing that happens in late fall, early winter is molting where you'll see a lot of chickens that'll lose their feathers. And it looks like they're just, that something's wrong with them, that they're, maybe they're gonna die on you. It's not that. Chickens go through it every year. Sometimes they don't go through it their first winter. They'll start like on their second year. Basically, they'll lose all their feathers and then they'll take the next month or two to grow them back. And they'll use all of their energy to, to grow back those feathers. And during that period, they're not gonna lay any eggs. And that's okay as well. That's their body trying to put all their energy towards making new feathers. So if anybody's in a panic about eggs or they're thinking about raising chickens for eggs or they're not getting eggs from their current flock, don't panic because eggs are coming. When the egg laying flocks have their, their new chicks that grow up and they're old enough, they'll start laying and so there'll be more eggs in the stores. For people that aren't getting eggs in the winter, as soon as it gets a little warmer and we get more sunlight, they're gonna start laying a lot more normally. And then if you're thinking that you're gonna get chicks and it's gonna help solve the problem, it will. It's good to be more self-sustaining, but understand that if you get chicks now, you're not gonna get any eggs for about six months. Let's go over to our main flock and I wanna tell you about how we got started in chickens and then what we did to get ahead so we didn't have to wait the six months before they started laying. So we started with chicks. We went to the farm store and got what they had there. We first got six, realized that probably not the best egg layers, so we went back and got six more. So we had 12, and we were realizing that we are gonna get a lot of roosters in our flock, and we were gonna get, get eggs for about six months, so we were looking for other ways to find laying hens. So Jake started doing Craigslist searching and trying to find other ways to find some laying hens, and that's kind of, scary because you don't know where they're coming from, what kind of situation they're coming from. So there was a, a few iffy situations. We ended up giving quite a few that we liked, like Amber's, that she came from a couple of girls that were doing 4-H and couldn't house them any longer. So she, we got a, her and a, another one and she has been our favorite chicken. But then we got a few that were not raised very well and they didn't last very long. So you just gotta be careful when you're going that route because you could introduce disease to your flock and they might not last very long. They could last long, like Amber, but you just don't know. Since it's been so cold, a little freezy, we check for eggs every single time. We got a few eggs. Some pretty brown ones. And there's a lighter one. So one of the biggest concerns for us and for anyone that's looking to get into chickens for the eggs is to understand cost because it costs a lot to take care of animals these days because of feed prices. This feed, this is game bird feed that we love to give our chickens. It's got layer pellets, whole seeds in here. And this stuff has, it's nearly doubled. I think it was about 14 or 15 bucks just a year or two ago for a 50 pound bag. And now this is somewhere in the area of about $25 a bag. Layer pellets themselves, they went from about 10 or $11 at the feed store that we went to. And now they're closing in on $20 for a bag. So feed costs in general are gonna make it really tough for anyone to get into chickens that's looking to save money. You might be able to do some food scraps if you have a small amount of them, but they're gonna have to get protein. And so if you're buying feed, you may not be able to save money while you do it, but at least you can make sure that you have eggs in case there is a shortage. Hey, Bolt. Oh really? What's that do? Just stress her out? So I thought you guys might find it interesting what I search for and 
what I looked for when I was looking for chickens. I know you guys can do your own Google searching, but I wanted to show you some of the pros and cons, things to look out for if you are looking for chickens this year. So when we first looked for chickens, we went to the farm stores, picked them up from Tractor Supply, but then you can also go on to hatcheries. Uh, started getting them from McMurray Hatchery, Heartland Hatchery, places like that. You could order in a bunch of chicks, pick out exactly what you want, not just whatever the farm store is actually carrying on that day. But if you need to get some actual laying hens, you can go to Craigslist. I'm curious what people are selling them for right now. So here's somebody, they're actually, it says they're giving some away. It says they're older, they're getting out of chickens. I don't know, could be a scam, could not be, but be wary of those kind of things. I would actually rather pay for chickens than get free, because free, you're gonna get what you pay for. So I like this, when I search for laying hens, you can actually see their setup there. And so as long as they're being truthful with their picture. Now that looks a little chaotic, kind of a madhouse, but at least it prepares you for what you're going into if you do decide to get these chickens. I wouldn't go this route, but if you're really needing some laying hens, this is a route to go. Now what I like to do now, if I'm getting hatching eggs, I'll often go to eBay. You know, I'm looking for hatching eggs, anything throwing me off about what I'm seeing here. So you may find good things that way, you may find bad things. Now if you're looking for the best route to go for laying hens outside of Craigslist, it's Facebook. The only issue is you can't openly sell chickens and so people will post things that they have something available and you've got to have a conversation privately about any animal sales. But a lot of times you can find people in your area so you don't have to ship birds. If you ship birds, understand that if you're dealing with exotic birds like our mandarin ducks, pheasants, things like that, there are a lot of scammers out there and they're gonna have you pay money and they're never gonna actually ship the bird. But if you're dealing with anything locally, whether it be exotic birds or just chickens, a lot of times you can find somebody within your part of your state or your country and then you can travel to them so you can actually physically exchange the money, pick up the birds, know what you're getting. So right here, people will post some pictures. These are some good looking chickens, a good setup. So I love this route if you're somewhere near somebody like that to get chickens this way. All right, so somebody had asked me what your favorite animal was. Who's your Who's your favorite chicken? Favorite chicken? Yeah, who's your favorite chicken? Mm. Amber. Amber, yeah, mine too. Do you, do you have a favorite chicken? Uh, the... You wanna go in here and see if you can find one? Yeah. Who's checking eggs? Okay, no eggs. I think this is my favorite one here in the Bantam flock. I don't have a name for her, but our white frizzle. She's super cute and she's tough. She's made it through a tough winter already and she's coming out of it all right. Is that one your favorite? Yep. That one's a pretty funny, awesome looking Polish. Good choice. And there's Dove. She was our first chicken. She was one of our first six chicks. Laid our first egg on the farm. And she's still doing well seven years later. It's pretty awesome. That's my favorite. This is a Sogi and a frizzle. Our rooster, we call him Fabio. Fabio is my favorite. Uh, egg! Ooh, that might be a nice well summer egg. We'll see. I like it. So that's our fifth egg today so far, which is as good as we've had in, in weeks with this cold weather. I know some people having normal laying again since the weather hasn't been too bad, but I'm not too worried about it. Our chickens usually start picking it up as soon as March hits. This is my fravel over here. Here is the Samro fravel. And this is our full-size splash cochin. I say full-size because we have a lot of other cochins. <laughs> But they are bantams, they're small. And this one is so much bigger. She is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. We got these guys in late summer, and so a lot of these are starting to lay, but oh my gosh. I've gotta get some more full-size cochin. If people ask us our favorite breed, mine's always the cochin, because they are wonderful mamas, they are super friendly, and we have just loved every one that we've come across. Is this one your favorite? Yes. This one's an Easter Egger. Can you say Easter Egger? Easter Egger. That's right, it lays pretty green or blue <coughs> eggs. Why is this one your favorite? That's why the tits does that's it for me. Because the boys caught it for you? Yeah. Do you like the colors? It has pretty feathers. That's right. So we're over here at the main coop, of course, home of Johnny Cash, our I Am Chimani All Black Chicken, Amber. And so in this flock, just under 50 in here. I think we've got about 40, 45 chickens in here. Got one egg in here? Yep. But in the summer, with our 40, 50 chickens in here, usually we come in with just under 30 eggs every evening. There's Manny, our white Morans. He's looking really good. So our red-shouldered Yokohamas. They're looking really cool. And this is definitely a family favorite of ours. This is Amber. She's our Americana. And so she is going on seven or eight years old now because we don't know exactly when she hatched, but she is just the sweetest. You guys like being on the farm? Yeah. You like yep. having chickens? Yep. yep. Do you like collecting the eggs? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I, 
Okay, I'm looking for um, that one. To fly back in the coop. To fly back in the coop? Yeah, so fly the one that has stripes on it. I've, I'm looking for one that has all the stripes on it. Oh, okay.